Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included! Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy and we've been on the LZ Alpha for about 450 cycles now! And today, today is a moving day! Yes indeed, today we are going to go ahead and move our duplicates into these new bases that we've been building quite nicely over here. Uh, we are going to go ahead, well, first thing I want to do is get these refrigerators up and running. I'm a little bit worried that uh, people coming all the way over here for food is going to end up being a little bit long. You know what, I'm even going to deconstruct this food here. Uh, we might put a, a you know what no, no stop 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 I want to get rid of all the edibles get rid of all of that but we're gonna call uh, we're gonna keep the medicine in there instead and the next thing that I'm gonna do of course is start putting down people into these uh, buildings here if we come along and have a look at this you can see that we have got uh, jelly shroudicus and uh, dr. captain subs down at the bottom here but now that I stop and think about it I actually want to swap one of these out for let's have a look we got Mimi uh, I want to put Luna down below okay we're gonna take Luna off of there and we're going to take Shroudcus off of that because Luna is uh, an out and about working around the place person whereas Shroudcus is very much a in the base person there we go all right beautiful that that should be fine so as I was saying I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna put Miss Align I'm gonna put uh, no, wait, Miss Align we're gonna put Mad Frank and we're gonna put Mimi in here I know she's around somewhere there we go cool now these guys should start living in this place I'm gonna also go ahead and enable this building I want to do this at quite a high priority or it turns out I want to do this at the top priority. I mean, I'm kind of alright with that. I'm hoping that Luna's gonna come along and do it almost immediately. No, let's have a look at the errands and see who is doing it. Decipher my man, where art thou? Uh, it'll be very interesting to find out. Uh, it'll also be very interesting to see whether... Oh, excuse me, a little, little coughing fit there. It'll also be interesting to see whether people start using the atmospheric dock suits to uh, to take their stuff off and then put it back on when working on things like the refrigerator. Oh, looks like we're about to find out. Yes, indeed. All right, and this should... Why didn't that... Wait, deliver the suit. Mmm, so can that not swap back and forth between the two? Is that not a thing? Also, why have we not got oxygen here? Okay, according to this, we do have oxygen here. It's just going to take a little while to set up. So, uh, bad bad, bad luck, Mad Frank. Uh, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait a long, long time. Why is this not con uh, considered done? How about if we undock that suit and then tell it to dock up over there? Is that going to work for us? Give us all that oxygen. Yeah, it looks like it might actually end up working well. Forrest is going to do the same, though, so I'm not... Not sure if that's where we want to be, but it does seem to have done exactly what we wanted it to do. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's got to put it back on anyway. Okay, cool. If we deliver a suit there, um, uh, maybe maybe cancel those, actually. But we'll, we'll see what's going on when all of this gets done. Okay, we're, we're going to hold on for most of the day. We're, we're nearly at the end of the day now, so I'd like to know exactly how this goes about working. In fact, all of these are going to get enabled, and then we're going to end up... Oh, look, they all want to have food. Uh, I want to have edibles now i want to have lice loaf i want to have mushroom i want to have meat i want to have omelets i also want to have barbecue wherever the barbecue is do i not have any oh there's some barbecue okay cool let's let's try that and see how that goes copy those settings across beautiful beautiful yeah i'm a bit of an idiot i've gone and set them up in the wrong place uh <laughs> let, let's go do this again shall we okay so i've got the builders up in here of course we wanted to have the movers and shakers down below which is uh luna dr captain subs and of course let's double check i think it is um jelly all right cool let's let's do it okay so that means that these also need to be turned back on that's no problem is it it's only a nine well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of these on and then we'll find out exactly how this is going to work for us i'm hoping that we can just deliver the suits to each of these and then it'll all um it'll all be configured to, for people to drop their stuff and come back out. I'm a little bit worried about the lack of power, but this, of course, is mainly due to the fact that we have things like a, uh, a geyser being dormant for the next 15 cycles. And over on this side, we do, of course, have this one, which is dormant for 18 cycles. The only thing we have actually making power at the moment is this, and even these are too hot at times. Why are you having troubles? You've got access, so why are the people not coming through? Hey, Miss Luna, how are you doing? Oh, no, you're going to go deal with the Millwoods. I don't know why these guys are having such trouble okay so the end of the first day comes into play i'm gonna quickly just slam all these on here and see what happens mad uh, sorry decipher's decided to go across the top here that is because he wants to go to the toilet okay that's fine that's fine we're gonna have to uh, queue up these 
delivers on everything. It turns out that these ones are actually still uh, still not functional. You can see how we got the, uh, the the do not pass sign as opposed to the atmospheric checkpoint sign. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see whether the cipher can even make it out of here again now. Uh, let's let's see. He's going to come along. He's going to come out of here. I really want to see. So the first thing he's going to do is try and uh, store the atmospheric suit. That's uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm all about that. He's going to put that down and then he's going to disinfect the toilet he's just come out of. Is he? Is he really? I don't know. Okay, what he's actually going to go do is go relax. Now, I want the relaxing to move from this place to somewhere else, but I've got a feeling this is the only uh, recreation building that we have access to at the moment. So we're going to have to try and figure out a way around that. We can choose a new... No, I've got some ethanol, got some shine nymphs. Oh, uh, we got science husbandry and agriculture. You know what? Maybe we will have a new farm boy. I'll actually get thought to a real name, but for now, we'll just call him farm boy. All right, so Jelly's asleep. Miss is asleep. Where are the others? Oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. All right, here comes Dr. Captain Subs. He should be able to move over here. Now, of course, the fact that they're all, like, chilling out over here is a bit of a problem. Maybe we want to make some sort of recreation room underneath. I think that would be a good idea. The fact that we've got a recreation machine up here means... Ah, oh, outside of recreation room. Yeah, we definitely need to figure out how to make one of those. If we come over into the room overlay. Recreation room. Uh, it just needs a recreational building, no industrial machinery, a decor item, and needs to be uh, somewhere between... 12 and 96 tiles are big. I, we can definitely do that down here. I'm wondering whether actually what we want to do is drop some uh, drop some doors through here. Let people walk underneath. Ah, the uh, the heavy wire is going to be a problem there. And then seal all this off. I mean, we can totally build over the top of it and make it a thing. If we go power... Uh, get the heavy watt join plate. We want to put like one there. In fact, we don't because that will stop the airflow. And I'm uh, particularly trying to keep the carbon dioxide that gets built up in here flowing down and out. Uh, so that's a, a thing to bear in mind. People sharing the use of the bathroom all around. I'm very interested in the uh, the uh, prolific shower use. I'm about it, to be fair. I am about it. This water down here, definitely coming up slightly full. Looks like we're having some troubles with oxygen supply, which uh, is definitely a great shame as we've got it turning over up here at quite a rate. It would be very nice if we could get that turned up. I wonder how come this one has had a delivery but the others haven't. Also, all these ones are looking very good up here. They've got lots of oxygen flowing through them. It'd be nice if we could continue that little process down. Oh, what's happened here? Uh, so, you, you, there we go. Uh, I was like, who, who's left their suit behind? How has this happened? But of course, Luna is in there. It'd be nice if we had some sort of way of moving the stuff in this place to a maybe a sweep-only um, compactor on one of the outside edges here and then let other people take that stuff away because Luna's probably gonna be stuck in there for a little while before the oxygen can actually fly. I mean, like, look at this. If I, like, undock the suit and then go, hey, deliver that suit. Uh, but we are just eating through this power far, 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 far too quickly, it turns out. Which, of course, turns my brain down to here. But as you can see, we've got temperatures in excess of... Well, let's call it 400 degrees. It's not in excess of 400 degrees, but it's getting close to being 400 degrees. And as I think you can imagine, if I was to put a liquid pump just over here, we would end up with a very, very cooked liquid pump. So I'm not sure how we're going to actually pick all this stuff up uh, and put it in a... Uh, put it in a generator of some description, but do so we must somehow. I'm feeling like all, uh, pretty much what we want to do is have a cooling cooling loop going from here to here. So it takes the temperature out of this petroleum and dumps it in whatever is over this side. Um, that, that'll be pretty good. That'll work out quite well for us. We need some cooler petroleum than we've currently got, um, else we won't be able to get it into the pipe network. Uh, but then, it, yeah, it can move the temperature from here to over there to... to um, even that all out and then we have an actual cooling system over here uh, that that would work out but of course the actual cooling systems so far are in shutdown because they actually don't have any power <laughs> Well, this is crazy. So according to this, I can take 20 kilowatts through any of these power systems. And all this is fine. But this heavy joint plate here seems to be overloaded. And that means that we have taken more than 20 kilo uh, kilowatts through here at some point. I don't think so. No, honestly, we can't get up to that sort of level of, of power. We don't, we don't have it. I don't know what's going on there. It's not right, though. <laughs> All right, maybe this is a state that we should have waited for before opening up. But we're getting to the point where some of the oxygen is starting to back up into the system. It'd be nice if these guys were also backing up so that these guys could uh, get themselves some serious oxygen. This one down here seems to be doing okay. That's definitely a uh, 
uh, a sort of a, a trickling system. What's the tiered system going on here? This one's got more oxygen than this one, and that's got more than this, and this one's got even less still. Uh, and I don't know why that's working, because, you know, the fact that the pipe is longer should have nothing to do with it, because it's it's all about the flow out and flow in, right? That's, that's, that's the way, it's just the buffer has got nothing to do with it. But look at this. This is solid, solid, much more going on here than we've got coming out of this one. I wonder if we have a look at the gas overlay, if we've got more chlorine coming out over this side or something? Uh, not really. It just it just looks to be the way it's happening. Ugh. Oh, darkness drops on me. Okay, right. This should be working out fine for here. These guys seem to be doing okay. Hey, guys, I really did want these turning off. Let's have a look and see what we've got set up over here so that we can... No, please, 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 please. Activation time 0% with an 80% down there. So let's set these up to being the same. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, this, this, this is fine, this is fine. Let's move that down. Uh, 80 might be a little bit small, 88%. Okay, that's what we want here. Beautiful. Why hasn't that light turned off yet? Uh, it's definitely a thing that should have happened, but no, turns out that is not the case. Uh, sending red signal disabled by automation. The sending green signal, you shouldn't be. Totally shouldn't be. Let's uh, swing that that way and back. No. Oh, because I paused the game. Because I paused it. Oh. <laughs> So where's Dr. Captain Subs and Luna got to? What what what's the deal? Have they fallen asleep somewhere? Let's uh, go through Luna. You uh, you're on your way. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. You're on your way. And the Dr. Captain Subs is eating. I mean, all right, all right. I suppose that's a thing. So we should totally try and set these guys up. Dr. Captain Subs, Jelly, and Luna down here. Dr. Captain Subs, Jelly, and Luna down here. We're gonna let Mimi eat. Uh, yeah, let's let Mimi eat down here. No, Miss Alarm can come and eat with this lot. Uh, just because I found her first. There's Mimi and there is Mad Frank. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, up top here, we're going to have Forrest in one of them because, you know, this is uh, his little area up top to be living in. Can I, can I please? Can I? All right, thanks. Um... Forest, there he is. He's going to be living up top. Uh, and then in this one, let's double check. We've got Decipher and Shrouticus. Let's do those. Decipher and uh, my boy Shrouticus. Of course, we're going to have Cubic up the top here. I hope you're doing well, buddy. All right, cool. That should now be everybody moving into here, I I'm thinking. I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, so we seem to have actually made some sort of prison rather than a dormitory for people to come in and out of. Uh, duplicates come in, they don't get any oxygen in their atmosphere suit, and they end up just sat there being like, hmm, well, this is nice, guys. Uh, every now and then someone will turn up. Oh, no, that's not it. Every now and then someone will turn up, make a, make a granite delivery, and then everyone will jump on making that right. Uh, but uh, here we are right now waiting for it all to be done. I've even set up a whole bunch of uh, sweep orders down here because I want to try and clear all this lot out, but it's not going to work until we get enough oxygen flowing through these here pipes. Alright, Luna's currently stuck inside and no one wants to pick this up. So if I assign that to Luna, is she going to come along and just pick it up? I think that might be the case. Is it going to get delivered anywhere or is she going to put it on? Yes. Alright, cool. That That's a good work. That's a good work. Now she's going to go around and do some things. I don't know exactly what Luna's going to do, but she is a tidy person, so I should imagine she's going to do some tidying up. Uh... Dr. Captain Subs, you appear to be sat in an atmospheric checkpoint rather than on the table where you should be sat. I'm kind of okay with this, but would also like you to not do that. <laughs> Rough impressions of moving in day about half an hour later. It's going okay. I wish I'd let, let uh, more oxygen come and fill up in all of these pipes. But, you know, other than that, we're going okay. The uh, oxygen is not coming through these pipes yet, and that is, of course, because down here has not been finished. You can see we've got a lot of the way cleared through, but this is definitely going to be uh, a pipe that we're going to end up pulling off here. I think what I want to do now is if we go to the ventilation and get a gas bridge, I'm going to go ahead and turn this round like this. And what's going to happen is this pickup point here is going to to preferentially steal all the oxygen until this whole line backs up, at which point it can then go off to the base. But uh, we want it to come off to the dorms uh, for preference, you know? He's still sat there. Dude, move over here, move over here. Just um, move from where you are. Go go do something that's different from what you're doing right now. I want, I want you to get your animation sorted again and sitting around just eating inside the, uh, the atmospheric checkpoint. Not that. Where? Oh, it's this one. Uh, let's undock this. Let's go, hey, dude, can you um, put that back on and then we'll see what happens, right? What? what? Did, you, did, you, did you just... Did you just watch that? He ate his suit. He full on just ate his suit. Dr. Captain Subs, you weirdo. <laughs> yeah. 
Supposedly we have people starving down here. Miss, could you do me a favor and go eat or something? That would be very handy. Uh, hopefully that's exactly what you're on now. You're going to pick up some lettuce. All right, good. I mean, uh, that, this this vegetarian lifestyle you're getting, getting on now. It's very weird. Oh, no. So Miss has stopped going for food and decided she's going to go to the toilet instead. I mean, that's kind of cool, but your calories. I mean, it's less than... It's, you've still got a 1,000. You've got like half a day's going. Oh, no, you have exactly a day's going. Look. Uh, change per cycle minus a thousand because you're a duplicate that is minus a thousand but because uh, the difficulty is down you take 500 off of that but also bottomless stomach adds 500 to it so uh, so that means all my other duplicates because we're playing on easy mode and we are playing on easy mode let's let's be be clear about that um yeah are only needing 500 a cycle oh man that is that's is beautiful it's beautiful why are you sleeping here guys because you can't get through the checkpoint because there's not enough oxygen okay Ah, 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 Dr. Captain Subs, you're eating in bed. Ah! <laughs> I wonder what's going on with this atmospheric suit. It's not been delivered. Let's, uh, let's try and sweep this up at a high priority and see where it gets given to, because uh, all the others seem to have been configured, but th these ones not so much. Is anybody actually going to be able to make it outside of there? That's the real question, of course. Okay, away goes the cipher. No one's picking up the atmospheric suit. Can we uh, have a look at the errand here? I don't think anybody's actually going to have... Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, no one's going to be on the atmospheric suit, because, of course, it is the checkpoint. We've got an awful lot of overheated buildings on the go down here here uh, and now that one that's fine uh, just gonna go through if there's anything not inside a lot of these systems down below i'm gonna be worried but no that that's it that that looks like it and then we go through the loop again all right cool that that's fine all of those buildings are fine to be breaking oh jelly oh jelly stuck here without any oxygen Oh, farm boy, you're so slow. We've not even actually set you up for being a farmer. Let's do that farming over here. And of course, we need a name for Monsieur Farm Boy. Can't do this while we've got him selected. Clay, this this kind of memory overlap, uh, sorry, this uh, menu overlap thing that you got going on here really is not helpful at times, you know? Really, really not helpful. Okay, an extra 15 minutes later, 45 minutes after moving everybody in, it looks like we're actually starting to build up oxygen stores in the atmospheric suit. So this is working out pretty well. The Ed food only seems to be getting dropped into this one refrigerator over here but that's kind of fine because all these people can come down oh they can't use this door that is literally the thing they can't use i wonder whether they can uh, grab it from across there i'm a little bit worried about putting the refrigerator into my great hall because i've got a feeling that is exactly how we end up with no uh no great hall that that's how we end up with this being an industrial machine or something like that right because of course if we go up and have a look in here if we look in the great hall it says somewhere in there requirements mess table no industrial machinery does the fridge count Oh, Jelly came through and stole the atmospheric suit off of Mimi while she was delivering food. I mean, it's a power play. It is a power play. Well, Mimi, you're now stuck in here. What are you going to... Oh, Jelly's doing it again. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? You know this is a bad idea because she's going to steal your suit. You came here to grab, fix some salt and take it up to the oxygenator, but no, you got stuck in there. Lol. <laughs> okay, I've slow noticed a very, very small problem whilst I'm just ripping through time here trying to get things moving. I'm going to rip down this door in this insulative tile here because I kind of want to swap them the other way around. As you may or may not know, this oxygen producer here also produces a bunch of chlorine. You can see we've got some going on down here. Now, chlorine tends to sink down to the bottom of the uh, of the map when it comes to being mixed with oxygen, so that's no problem. All we need to do is swap these down so there's a little bit of a lip here, and then the, uh, the chlorine will just get stuck in here, picked up by the pipes, uh, the pumps, and thrown into our salt farm up here. As soon as they get round to doing it. Oh, Sh Shrouticus is just coming kind of stuck here is it shroud mate my, my friend get up and go through go on go 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 you can you can come back for your atmospheric suit at some point wow i wonder why i struggled with that all of a sudden mainly because it's night time and i'm like oh yeah maybe i should have a sleep too literally every animation for dr captain sub seems to be eat i think we might follow him around tomorrow and see what happens I mean, it thinks I'm sleeping. It thinks he's sleeping, so I'm kind of okay with that, kind of. I would prefer it if we could uh, not have this animation rolling. It's chilly in here. Mm, maybe we'll think about how to warm this place up at some point. Okay, is going to the shower also eating? Oh, going to the shower is also eating. Oh my gosh. More importantly, look what's going on with his name there. I think that's because of follow cam. Because we can't go any further to the left here, it's like, yeah, I'm going to put this right in the middle here. Uh, and then it can't. So, yeah, no, this is good. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, 190 out of 200. We're so close. Look, this one's backed up. This one's backed up. Even, even the good doctor himself knows that it's coming. Look, he's like, 
like, yep, yep, just just waiting, just waiting. No, stop, stop. We've had this problem before. Somewhere in here, clothing, copy settings. Stop that. <laughs> wow. We get through this power in, like, no time. I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm, I'm going to wait until this gets back up to maximum charge here and then let you guys see... Um, I, I may have actually been able to like get the snippet of information just beforehand, just to just to really show you. But like, okay, here we go. We are getting up to uh, we're, we're at seventy five percent of full right now. We want to want to get that up to full. Snap shut, bam, it's empty. Just like wow, we do not provide enough power at the moment. But to be fair, this is exactly why we put this system in place like we did, so that when the power does get drawn off too quickly, boom, just like that. No, no, not going to happen. Just like that. Uh, it means that the power is still there to, to run all the various things that need running. Because who'd have thought having a self-powered system to make sure it carries on running even when everything else is drawing all the power is quite important. Anyway, I have reset the game and I want to find my boy Captain Subs again, the Doctor Captain Subs, and see if he's still doing the food animation. Oh no, we are, we are so far out of power right now. Does this mean that we don't have people to come out here? Okay, that is actually a bigger problem than I'm letting on. We do appear to have power coming through every now and then and then disappearing so i'm hoping someone at some point can use this one that would be great are we also in some downtime we're not in some downtime right now that's a it feels like they are because they're not going around and doing anything but i think i just saw cap dr captain subs do something that was not indeed a uh, an eat animation but if maybe we can find, watch him doing a different thing then that would be great i'm gonna wait and see Okay, here we go. Farming supply. He picked up some stuff. He ran down here and he has made the delivery. All right, no eating anywhere. Brilliant. The next thing that I want to try and do, of course, we've got cubic here. Now, you guys might remember me saying, hey, I don't want to put the refrigerator in here because I, it might be an industrial machine and I don't know whether uh, that will clear out the... Uh, the, the the room limit. That's what I'm trying to say. If we come into here, we can have a look over here. Great morale. Oh man, that is a whole bunch of stuff. But if we look somewhere near the bottom, it's got requirements, mess table, no industrial machinery. Literally no idea. Literally no idea whether this is going to count or not. Why do people not have ways in and out of here? It, it feels like the whole oxygen situation, the whole power situation rather, has literally just fallen apart around my ears as we've been sat here doing stuff. Oh man, Frank is on his way out of here. That means this lot has got enough power to keep going. So that's pretty cool. Where is he going? Uh, we got some sort of construction ladders and stuff like that. I really did want this uh, refrigerator done, if that's at all possible. Kind of quite a high priority in my mind right here. And I would like to then get rid of all the other refrigerators to see whether we can move all the food into there. That would be good. All right, now that we've done that, let's get the bill of uh, power going on. I don't know whether this is... In fact, I know this is not necessary, but it does um, keep it refrigerated if I do this. And then I'm going to go uh, escape. And of course, refrigeration means that it uh, doesn't run rot very well or at least it slows down the rotting process and then i'm going to get rid of these we're going to see whether oh in fact we can find out now let's do this uh it's counted all right refrigerators are not industrial machinery that is that's actually very important Oh no, we got big problems. The food is not being delivered. Okay, we're going to have to just turn off this checkpoint for the moment and see if we can't get people doing the jobs that they need to do. Uh, also need to get the power flowing again. Now, this, of course, is going to be a problem over here. We've got 10 cycles on this one. And over here, we have got 13 cycles. So yeah, much, much longer than I would particularly like for this to uh, to be recharging. Uh, maybe we can think about something. This, this oxygen up here, I thought it was going to be a good system because it was one that we had been using in the past and of course you know if we've been using it in the past that means it's probably going to be a good one but it is a power negative situation it's not like the self-powered oxygen making machine um so uh, it, it is something that requires use it does um feed back into the salt to keep giving us new supply so that is quite good that that really is annoying. I don't I don't understand why it got overloaded. But literally, if we come and have a look at oh well, we're gonna have to click over here, have a look at the energy, the potential power consumed isn't even close to the 20 watts of safe usage. It, it just it's not gonna it doesn't get that high. I don't get it. How has this happened? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in the base. I, oh, I know what's happened here. I know what's happened here. So let's undock that suit. We're going to have to undock all these suits. 
and hope that people can go around and replace them over here. I'm even going to go ahead and put these up to high priority and hopefully someone will go along and replace all of these. Let's just have a look and see if any of these can actually be got to. Uh, suit is unreachable. Uh, 130, are you kidding me? All right, so this is where Mad Frank and that lot go through. So let's try and get that up to a high priority and see if anybody is going to get to it. I, um... I don't, I don't feel particularly great about it, actually, honestly. I, I feel like we've set up a bit of a bad system here. I almost feel like we want to rip down these across here. At least three of them, maybe? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, so, nobody's getting to that one. Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. Let's actually, P0, do these and see if anybody can get to any of them. That is the, uh, the big question that I've got here. If we click on this and go through the errands. Uh, I, I don't... I don't think anybody can actually get to anything right now. Okay, we're gonna go on a gamble. I'm gonna disable this building and let's see what happens. Miss Lloyd's gonna take it down. Hopefully this should now mean that just about everybody can get out on. Oh, no, Mad Frank and Mimi are now allowed to out. Okay, let's let's go ahead and disable all of these for the moment until we can get enough coming back in somewhere along the line. We gotta get people out of here so that we can get things fixed. The big problem at the moment actually is the fact that the coal generator is not running. So uh, that that's a thing that we need to work on. Okay, I got a few coming back now. All right, cool. That that's good. That's good. Uh, the big problem here was actually that I hadn't asked them to deliver the suit. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna actually have to get to the situation where we do indeed rip these little checkpoints down on the inside here. This one's working out fine. If we could just get rid of these suits, uh, maybe get them uh, back over here. If we deliver a suit here and deliver a suit here and deliver a suit here, we'll just see which one turns up. You know, at least we got one of the coal generators running now. Why is Shrouticus currently stuck inside? There appears to be an atmospheric... Ah, uh, may maybe we need to turn these all on. But honestly, I don't I don't think that's the case. Oh, that's far too high a priority there. Let's put that back onto a nine. Yeah, I don't actually think this is the case, but we'll, we'll try it anyway. Um, Shrouticus should be able to just exit any door. Well, not any door. Uh, this one. Aha. Let's give you some commands again, and let's make sure we've not got you put down somewhere else. I mean, the real question then does have to be, how did he even get in here? Okay, I think I've gone through the uh, the refrigerator here and turned off everything that's not a cooked food source because obviously we just want the cooked foods in here because, you know, this is where we want people to eat the cooked food. Okay, so now that all the atmospheric suits are out of here, fingers crossed, I'm going to turn this on to a super high priority. We're still waiting for Mad Frank to come through. I was kind of hoping it would be one of these guys. Forrest appears to be going through here. This is definitely not what I wanted. Uh, I didn't want him to end up on the other side of the suit. Ah, this, this, this is why I didn't want it. The reason that I wanted to turn this one on is because the uh, duplicates have to kind of come through this corridor to come out the other side. And now what's going to happen is on the way back in, Forrest is going to drop a suit off and then not have one on this side to pick back up. Uh, not ideal, if I'm to be honest with you, but I suppose it is something that we can learn to uh, live with somehow. We're going to have to just try and get Forrest to... Uh, come around here without going through the checkpoint maybe of course the whole power situation is still a big problem okay so we've been having great problems down here with these guys making the deliveries i think this means we need a new co uh, new uh, duplicate i'm gonna go ahead and uh, have a look we need a delivery man is there a delivery man we've got a tidying there's no one here for supplying i don't care about the pip eggs we're gonna get rid of them all as soon as we get a supply guy we're gonna have a supply guy okay so we're gonna do this differently i'm gonna disable this one i'm gonna disable this one this is just how we're gonna do it we're gonna turn everything off we're gonna undock all the suits we're gonna get everybody to put them back over here and and then that should then be the situation where we don't have to turn anything on ever again. Okay, get everyone to come around and pick up their atmospheric suits. This should work out apart from these guys in here. Come on, guys. Moving day has been awkward enough as it is. Let's try and round this off with a finish, a uh, strong finish, shall we? Oh, Jack, why did you just drop it on the floor? What? How is that the case? I'd, oh, at least Luna's come along to, like, make this work. And is she allowed back through the door? Yeah, she's allowed back through the door. She's just going to chill out there instead. All right. In fact, uh, no. So it says Luna has got an atmospheric suit. I, uh, I disagree. We're going to assign her that one over there and maybe get her through this door if we can. Is anybody going to come along and disable this for the moment? Uh, if we turn this off, maybe we can get everybody out who needs to actually come down via this way. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Miss Align probably still going to be stuck in there, but I think that's all right. We should be able to get everybody else to get some suits through here somewhere along the line. Okay, the only one who doesn't have an atmospheric suit 
now is missed. So we're going to disable this building here. And then if I can get back and turn it back on, enable that building. She's now on the other side. So if we come over here and somewhere there should be an atmospheric suit. Ooh, it's been a bit of an effort, but we've got the... Why isn't Shroudkus in a suit? Where is he? Where are you? Shroudkus, my man, where where is your atmospheric suit? Why aren't you wearing it? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it would be nice if we could fix this somehow. It really would, wouldn't it? Is it this one? There we go, Shroudkus. Wear that. Wear that. And that should then make everything work out. Oh, finally. It took enough shuffling, but we are there. What? What? Why has this happened? What's going on here? A lot of people are not putting suits on. Oh, guys, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> oh, oh, Cubic just delivered one. Obviously, it must be something to do just with the uh, priorities of the day, maybe? Yeah, maybe. A little extra confused with everyone being out of the base, but they're still not being all the suits gone. I don't know. Maybe, uh, whatever. <laughs> Okay, Farm Boy is facing his own little issues here. In fact, I think we need to rename Farm Boy. Let's go ahead and do this. My boy Legit has not made it into the rock so far, so let's go and do that. Hey, Legit. He's either Legit History or Legit Plays, Legit Gaming. It depends where you meet him, so I'm just going to call him Legit. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, I want to move you up to live with Forrest up here. Somewhere in here. Bam. Hey, have your own little comfy bed. This way you can go in and out of this atmospheric suit uh, and actually, uh, you know, refill the, the oxygen in there at some point. Also, still loads of power issues. One of the things I've done to try and ease the flow of power is put this nice little uh, U-bend here in front of the weasel warts. Uh, when the water was coming out here, it was making it out at really scoldingly hot temperatures, 95, 99, something like that. Because of this extra little loop of weasel wart that I've done here, you can see that it's coming out at ju well, just over 90, which is still scoldingly hot, don't get me wrong. But it means that these are not overheating anymore. Uh, 99, oh, we might actually... Ah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, the last thing we do before I can say moving day is a success is to mop up the place. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, end of the day. Not much cleaning actually got done. A little bit from Mad Frank, a little bit. Oh, hey, what's going on here? No, 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 you don't belong there. I suppose Forrest has gone ahead and done that. All right, I see, I see what happened. How did Forrest get through here? He was going to the refrigerator, but I don't see any other way that he would have got through. Hmm, interesting. That seems like something that went wrong there but that's fine that's fine we can get on with that and see what's going on everybody coming down to the refrigerator down the bottom and having themselves a nice little food that is exactly as i wanted it to happen so that's working out quick and convenient the next thing we need to do is get the the uh, the kitchen somewhere close and convenient and then the food somewhere close and convenient to that or you know the groweries the farm but all in all it's looking really good okay where where's farm boy Where's he at? Or as I call him now, legit. There you are. What, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Are you just like, I'm going to go sleep up here? Why can't you? Oh, I know why. I know what I've done wrong here. Look here. Oh, I didn't let you have access to your room. How terrible. Are you actually going to make your way around? Let's, let's watch him go and do his thing. It's the morning now. Oh, once again, terrible overseer Twitchy comes along and stops a guy from even living his own life. Oh, no. Oh, this is annoying. People keep coming in here to pick up stuff from this corner and then can't get out because their atmospheric suit is different from the... Oh. Uh, Luna, you can come out this way. Go and get that suit and just, just get out of here. Oh, this is very bad. <laughs> But I think with that, we are going to call moving day a success. We have a few uh, routing issues, but mostly we have ourselves a little bit of an oxygen issue up here. If we can fill this pipe with oxygen, we will be done. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to figure out a little bit of the oxygen over there. And hopefully, we're going to try and figure out how to get this petroleum being of use. Because we have almost infinite amounts of power sat there ready to be pulled up. But we're not making use of that. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.